confused. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to be taking you through everything you will need if you want to customize your WWE action figures. I was about to work on these three guys right here, you know, work on some custom figures for you guys to show off. And I thought about it and I thought, you know, we've done like figure prepping before, like, you know, a figure I was about to do. But I never really went through, you know, the stuff that you need, the paint I use, the sealer I use, the, you know, instructions on how I go about customizing so I figured what better way than to do it today so uh, as you can see right here we do have Seth Rollins we have Neville and then we have Kofi Kingston and uh, this is the Shield Epic Moments 3-pack Seth Rollins and as you guys know they did not paint the uh, the knee pads right here and then they did not paint the lines on the crotch piece right there so I'm gonna be doing that today um, not in the video, but I will be, you know, doing that off camera. But I, I want to take you guys through, you know, what processes I go through and what paints I use and just everything in detail. That way you guys know in the future or if you guys ever want to customize yourselves, you guys will know exactly how to do that. So I guess we could start off with painting. And the paints that I use, there's a couple brands here. I'll go ahead and get them in position. All right, guys, so the first paint brand that I use is Citadel. And you can see here... This is what it looks like. It comes in little containers like this. You have two different versions that I use. I use layer and I use air. And layer is more of a thicker, you know, it's better for like like doing straight lines and stuff like that. And then air is more of, you know, cover. And so if you're trying to cover tights or, you know, a, a massive area, you would use air. And that is because uh, this goes inside of a paint gun or, you know, a spray gun or whatever you want to call it. And uh, that is what you would use to put in that gun and it, you know, sprays it on there. But I use it just with my brush. So I dip it in there with my brush and then I paint it on in thin coated layers. It's a lot better. Goes on very, very clean. And it may be a bit watered down for some people, but I think it works perfectly. The next brand that I use is Apple Barrel. And this, you can get at any Walmart. Citadel, you can only get on Amazon and like hobby stores and stuff like that. But Apple Barrel, you can get really cheap at Walmart. The only thing I will do, or I'll show you how to uh, make these better in a few minutes. But that's the other brand I use. Uh, another brand is this right here. It's called... Uh, Delta Creative, and it's, I think it's called Ceram Coat or something like that. I think that's on every single bottle, but this brand's really good. You can get it at Hobby Lobby and Michaels, I do believe, but that is a really good brand. I use that on a lot of customs. And then the final paint that I use is Game Color, or Vallejo Game Color, I think is what it's called. Um, same thing as Citadel. You can only get these at Hobby Stores and Amazon, I'm pretty sure. They're pretty um, expensive. I think they go for like 6 bucks a pop instead of, uh, you know, Apple Barrel or Ceram Coat. Both of these go for like a dollar a piece, but uh, these, these do work really really well I think that these are easily the best paints I will give you guys a warning don't ever use folk art I, I absolutely hate folk art I've ruined a bunch of customs with it it doesn't thin well and it's just a piece of trash I have a ton of these in my collection and it's because I just went to Hobby Lobby bought a bunch of it like a moron stupid idiot dumb idiot moron stupid and now I have a bunch of them that I never use so those are the different paints that I use but uh, what I was talking about with the Apple Barrel if you're gonna be using Apple Barrel this is what I learned from Chase from Burnout Inc. I took a little tubbleware right here, got a sponge, you put that down on the bottom of it, you take some water, and what you do is you pour it on the sponge here uh, about halfway through, and it creates a wet palette. And uh, this is all squishy and wet now. You can see there's paint all over it there. But you'll take a paper towel and you'll lay that over it, and then you'll use your paint, you'll just pour your paint over it. Um, like so, I'll do a little demonstration real quick. You pour your paint on there and then you know you'll uh, mix it up with your paintbrush. I'll go ahead and do it real quick that way you guys can see what I'm talking about. You'll just like sort of mix it in there and now it's it's pretty thinned out. So now you know the apple barrel's thin like the apple uh, the Citadel air. Now it'll go on a lot cleaner, it'll apply better and stuff like that. So that is what I do. And shout out to Chase from Burnout Inc. for teaching me that method. It works very well. It goes on very clean, way better than if you just, you know, pour this out and go to painting. It's going to be really thick and clumpy, especially with white. But um, anyways, moving on, another thing that I use when I'm customizing is toothpicks. And toothpicks, what I do is, if you guys remember my lime green Kenny Omega, if I, uh, I'll paint an area and then I'll use this to chip away the paint um, to get the details and stuff like that. Instead of, you know, hand painting every single detail, you can paint a like you know like a square and then chip out the details with the toothpick it works really really well and I've learned that over the years of customizing 
Uh, as far as paint brushes go, guys, I usually get like thin, small brushes. You know, uh, I don't really know exactly what they're called, but uh, detail brushes is what I pick up. And then, of course, you're going to want a similar, like maybe uh, something like this to, you know, paint up tights and stuff. You don't want it too massive, but you don't want it too small either because you want it to uh, cover a bigger area than if you're working on details. So if you're working on details, title belts, uh, smaller designs, then you want to use, you know, small tip brushes. Just look for a detail pack. Um, it'll say small detail brushes or detail something like that. It'll be like a five pack or something. Very cheap. Um, I wouldn't go to Walmart. I would go to Hobby Lobby or Michaels. That way you get better quality brushes. Um, another thing I use is uh, these containers right here. You know, fill them up with paint. You can put, you know, you pour your paint in there. You can mix it up, mix colors up and stuff like that. With those, these are just uh, tablespoon stuff from the kitchen. So I wouldn't use your mom's. I would use, I don't know, bottle caps. Bottle caps work really well. I have like a bunch of water bottles in my room. You know, I'll take the lid off and boom, you have a little paint dish right there that you can mix up and use. That's actually a really good uh, trick that I learned is using the uh, uh, bottle tops from your water bottles or Mountain Dew or whatever the crap you kids drink these days. Another thing you want to have handy guys is just a cup of water that way you know when you're done painting with a certain color you can dip your paintbrush in there, wipe it off with a towel. You'll want to have a towel handy. I have you know my uh, paint towel right here and you know you'll dip your paintbrush in there, get all the water off and then you know get it off right here, get the excess water off with that. And finally, you have your sealant, and uh, I use two different sealers. I have Mod Podge right here and Matt, and this works pretty good. And I have a spray, and I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys because it's outside right now. But um, you guys can see, it's you can get it at Walmart, you can get it at Hobby Lobby, stuff like that. Very, very simple stuff to do, but um, I'm pretty sure that is everything I use to customize, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I could be wrong. If there is, I would leave it down in the comment section below, but I'm pretty sure that's everything I use to customize, guys. Any custom I make, this is the exact uh, utensils that I use. If I'm painting up, you know, a Kenny Omega, if I'm painting up, t you know, tights designs, if I'm painting up anything, this is the exact stuff I use. No BS, no gimmicks, and um, I would tell you guys about sculpt, but uh, I don't really sculpt that much, and if I do, um, I go get somebody else to do it. So um, that pretty much does it for my custom figure process, guys. I don't really know what other people do. If you guys customize, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys like to use. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I'm still waiting on my Elite 64 and Top Talents figures to come in. Once they do, I will get some reviews up for you guys because I know that you guys are waiting on that. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Comment down below if you guys learned something from this video. You know, what did you learn? Let me know down below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.